Alright, so now we have the error component. Uh, we also have um, the new error state that's, that shows the state. Now let's test everything to see everything works as expected. So let's give it a unique username, an email, and a password. Looks like the email and username has been taken, so let's give it a, a separate email and username. Okay, this should work. I hope. Okay, perfect. So this works. Uh, the error message is gone. However, we are still stuck on the registration page. The user has to be directed to home page. So as you can see, we have the auth state. So in order to fix this, let's look at the Reddit controllers. So Reddit controller is a functionality provided by Reddit where you can add a couple of, uh, it's, it's basically a map and you can add start and stop functions. And it's, this is perfect. This is exactly what we need. So as you can see in the routes, you can attach a controller property and the value is a, is a vector. And inside the vector, you have a map and you can give a start and a stop function. So yeah, so as you can see, the start and stop is getting logged. So this needs to be a function, not a, not an expression. So right now we are invoking it. So that's why we see both of them getting invoked. So let's change the text for now and let's refresh. Okay. So it works both the, both of them are getting invoked. And also in the route section, we have to um, change the, the way how um, the new match route gets uh, updated. So uh, this is just what I copied from the example section. So now if we, uh, now if we go to, if we refresh the page, this should not work because we haven't invoked, we haven't, um, sorry, we haven't um, imported the controllers. So let's do that. Reddit frontend controllers as RFC. And now let's refresh the page and it should work. So, We can also provide uh, controllers to the root controller. So these functions get invoked when the, when the web page first loads. So now that we have controllers working, let's copy paste it to uh, all the routes. So, so as, as I said, uh, so yeah, let's, so let's start working on the functionality. So first what we will do is uh, if we are leaving the registration page and if the error still exists, then what we will do is we will um, we will reset the the state. So uh, when we are exiting the registration page, uh, if the error state exists, then we want to reset the error state because we don't want to show it when the user leaves the page. Okay. So now to test that, let's go back to the sign up page and let's sign in. And now let's leave. Ah, let's also give the key to the list uh, element so that we don't have the prop type error. We can just give the key as the as the key because it will be unique anyways. So now if we click on sign in, and there you go, the error is gone. So uh, next what we will do is we'll create a new component called this errors and we'll copy paste the component in this file so that we don't have it inside the auth, inside the registration page. And once that is done, we're going to import it in the register namespace and just delete the component. All right, so now that is done, uh, let's test it. Now, if we go back to the login, it should clear the error. Um, perfect. This works. Now, what we need to do next is we need to, uh, when the user uh, authenticates, when the user uh, signs up, what we want to do is we want to redirect the user to homepage, right? So uh, in the auth success function, 
we will call the push state function from re uh, Reddit front end easy and push state accepts the name of the route so here we are going to say uh, send us to the home page so if we invoke this it should lead us to the home page so there you go you just saw how it works so that's how we will achieve the um, the redirect let's also rename the now and names to have it namespaced so instead of saying name uh, home login register let's call it uh, route slash home route slash login and register so we have to update this everywhere uh, so even in the header otherwise it won't work okay and it should work as before So we want to re reset the error state only if there is any error. So otherwise, we, we don't want to call this. So. And let's do the same thing in the login page because we will be um, Okay, so for for some reason the login. Okay, so uh, we forgot to change the header. Um, okay, so as you can see on line number six, we have made an error. We don't have the um, yeah, it should be route slash home, and now it should work, and the error should not we should not see error um, there's another message route so let's go to the register okay on the login page let's also rename the routes you also need to do it in the register component as well so routes slash login okay so now hopefully we don't see that error Everything looks perfect. So that's it for now. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.